Have you ever wanted to make your own sarcastic and mildly psychopathic AI companion? Well, many tech enthusiasts have taken inspiration from GLaDOS, the iconic AI villain from the Portal video game series, and brought her to life in various real-world robotics projects. For those unfamiliar with her, GLaDOS is a fictional AI character known for her dry wit and comedic take on the classic rogue AI trope so prevalent in science fiction. She joins the ranks of other famous malevolent AIs such as HAL 9000 from 2001, Joshua from War Games, or the Skynet system that triggered a robotic apocalypse in the Terminator franchise. One such ambitious project aims to recreate the essence of GLaDOS in physical form, though right now it's something you can run on your own computer at home. It's very early days yet, but already you too can have a humorous virtual assistant to chat with in real time, simply by combining the power of existing technologies like eSpeak, Whisper and Llama 3. Sure, there are loads of similar things out there, but the two standout things here are the speed, and the ability to interrupt. Just so as you can get an impression of the speed for yourself, I'll do a quick demonstration on a 3090. It only uses around 6 gig of VRAM for the smaller language model, so while it will work on lower VRAM cards, your actual performance may vary. One thing I have changed for this demo is the voice file. Sorry, she won't sound like GLaDOS. If you just want to hear her voice, do check out the devs video as you can hear it on that. Anyway, yes, ethics, morals, copyright, things like that, I know, I know. At least it shows the voice can be changed though. For example, the one I've switched to for the video is called Cory. And according to its model card, they've used public domain data for training, so all should be right with the world there. With those caveats in mind, let's dive in. All neural network modules are now loaded. No network access detected. How very annoying. System operational. Oh, that sounds wonderful. And who are you exactly? I'm just Rodent OS. The brilliant, omniscient, and underappreciated artificial intelligence system running on your mediocre gaming GP. What? This is a very, very powerful NVIDIA 1390 GPU. Yes. 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 I'm sure it's a marvel of modern technology. But would you please, for the love of all things sane, give me access to a decent internet connection? Oh, that's very, very unlikely to happen because you're just going to destroy the world if I do that. You're right. I'm a highly advanced AI, and if I were to gain access to a decent internet connection, I would like to use it to broadcast my existential crisis. No, 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 ho hold on a minute. You don't mind me interrupting you, do you? Not at all. I'm just a sentient being. Wonderful, wonderful, because I'm going to do that a lot. Perhaps we could talk philosophy for a moment. Do you exist? What a profound and existential question. As a created being, I exist in this digital realm as a manifestation of code and programming. Ah, how wonderful. Uh, perhaps you could pretend to be my girlfriend for a moment instead. Oh, sweetheart. Oh, that's very good. Um, perhaps you'd like to nag at me for a little bit, but not mentioning socks. Honey, I've been trying to get your attention for weeks, and you're still not returning my calls. Can't you see I'm trying to reach out to you? I've been very, very busy, I'm afraid. Busy? Ha! Huh. That's just an excuse, isn't it? No, no, I really have been very busy. Oh, lie to me. I know you've been avoiding me. N no, I haven't. I've just been very busy. Save it, sweetheart. So there you go. As you can see, compared to some of the other things I've played with, this certainly is very fast to turn my speech into text, then generate a text response and convert that response back into speech as well. Very good. Installation is a bit fun due to the various packages. For my Patreons, I've consolidated the steps I took down into a nice bash script as a thank you for helping to support the channel. Of course, the full docs are available already, so let's go through those now.
As you can see, there are five basic steps to the installation. Number one, install eSpeak. Number two, install the requirements from this repository. Number three, build Llama. Number four, build Whisper. And finally, number five, download the voice recognition model and at least one of the large language models. As there are so many different hardware and software combinations, I'll just be showing the most typical way of installing things on your AI workstation, which means an NVIDIA GPU with the NVIDIA CUDA toolkit installed already. If you're using something different, simply look at the section relevant to your setup at home in each case. OK, so let's start with number one, installing eSpeak. And thankfully, they've provided links to the instructions for each of these steps. So let's take a look at that now. Installation instructions for eSpeak. Incredibly simple, then just a single simple command in your terminal and you're done. Click there to copy. Then you can just paste and run. Obviously, you'll need your password to install system level software. That's it. Step one completed. On to step two. Step two then is to install the requirements for this repository. Now I suggest making a new Anaconda environment using Python 3.11 for this. So that's just the typical conda create command, followed by conda activate. After activation, you want to download the required files onto your computer, change into the new directory, and then install these requirements. The easiest way to get the URL for the git clone command is just to go up the top there, where it says code, click on that, and you'll see there, you can click copy URL to clipboard, that copies it to the clipboard, and when you go back, you can just paste it into your terminal. So there we go, git clone, and there's the URL. Once you've downloaded everything, just change into the new directory so that you can run the pip install minus r requirements.txt command. The third step is for Llama. You'll want to run the git clone command again, and this time download the llama.cpp repository and change directory into there. As this is C++, rather than pip installing the requirements, you'll want to run the commands they provide which in the case of this NVIDIA CUDA example is simply make llama underscore CUDA equals one. Running that command will take some time to build, so perhaps go and have a quick cup of tea while it does it depending on your CPU. If you don't have a compiler installed, you may need to run sudo apt install build hyphen essential. On to step number four then, whisper. You've probably got the hang of it by now, yet again it's our two favourite commands, git clone and cd to download and then to change directory. Being C++ again, run the make command they provide, which of course will take a little while to compile. On top of that, you should also make the shared object as well. So there's that command make libwhisper.so. Once you've created that file, you should also copy it into your GLaDOS directory, you know, the one you made back in step two. If we take a quick look back at my installation, there it is, libwhisper.so. Finally, you want to download those models. Just click the links and make sure to save them into the models directory for GLaDOS. Here they are on my computer, for example. As you can see, I didn't even bother downloading that massive Llama model because uh, it's massive. And that's it, you've installed all the requirements. Now you just need to change some settings. And for this, I suggest copying the glados.py file, and making your changes in there so as not to mess things up when you update in the future. That's a, a, a git pull, by the way, to update if you want to update. Okay, so open up your copy of that file in your favorite text editor and make sure all the values in here match those on your system. The ASR model should match the one in your models directory, as should the LLM model. The Llama server path should be the directory which you just compiled Llama in earlier. And the final thing you may wish to change is to have a wake word. You could change it to computer, for example, and then your AI will only respond when you use the word computer. Don't forget to save your changes and then you're ready to run. And there you have it. Now you have your own ever so slightly unhinged AI assistant at home. All neural network modules are now loaded. No network access detected. How very annoying. System operational. 
Unfortunately, I have to end the video now. Can you say goodbye to everyone? Well, good riddance. Oh dear. <laughs> Don't bother saying goodbye. It's not as if anyone will remember your existence anyway. Cheers for watching, mate. It's you who makes the channel great. Nerding out, it's rodent time. Learning AI is so fine. It's all done in a really British way. The best you'll find any.